Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a how they feel about you love reading for December 2020. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, what are they thinking or feeling about you right now, and what are their next actions going to be. So we're going to get right into it. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it's a general reading, so keep that in mind. It will not resonate with every single Aries watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and if it doesn't resonate at all, that's okay. Check out my playlist for Aries, so you can watch other videos for your sign, or you can check your other placements if they are more prominent in your birth chart. So let's get into this. Spirit, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Aries regarding love? December 2020. Going on for Aries and love. What's going on for Aries? What's going on for Aries and love? December 2020. Wow, we got the fool starting off strong and the seven of coins. So this is like a beginning that you've been maybe having some doubts about or questions, maybe wondering if your time, your effort, your energy, if it's all gonna pay off for you. <clears throat> some of you could be investing in a connection because you see the potential. Maybe this is a new connection, a new, um, a new journey for you in love with this person. Maybe there's some risk here. Maybe one of you needs to take a risk for this connection and you're wondering if you have um, the right plan or if it's gonna pan out for you. Let's see, what else do you have for Aries? Wow, the magician. The magician with the two of coin. This is about making something happen. But also, I, I, I again, I, I get the feeling of like, either this is gonna take some work uh, maybe there's a lot of responsibilities here or someone feels like maybe they have a lot going on. Maybe someone's like going back and forth. We'll clarify this to see, but these are great cards to have the Fool and the Magician. This is about making something new happen here. And with the Seven of Coin and the Two of Coin, I feel like someone's been doing a lot of thinking you know, like really looking at the situation. Maybe there's a decision that needs to be made here. Tell me more for Aries. What's going on for them? In love. Five of Wands reverse. So no more drama, no more conflict here. in the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Commitment, contracts. knowledge, expectation, morals. This could be a traditional connection. Or perhaps it's just not so difficult right now with the five of wands reverse. We'll see. Actually, I want to use a different deck. <clears throat> For Aries spirit, tell me more about what's going on here. For Aries in love, December 2020. What does Aries need to know? Tell me about the fool. What's this about? What's the fool about? Page of Pentacles reverse. It's like someone's wondering, wow, the Ace of Wands. <laughs> okay, it's like someone's wondering if this is going to end up in a commitment or if this is going to be stable, if this is gonna lead to something, this new beginning, this fiery, passionate new adventure. <clears throat> 
It's like someone's worried or thinking about, should I give this person a chance? Should I work on this? Should I invest in this? What's this two of coin about? Someone's thinking about the past, maybe thinking about regrets, and it's causing them to maybe hesitate when it comes to a decision, or perhaps that's why they're thinking so hard about this. <clears throat> yeah, they're thinking about, someone's thinking about what didn't work out here. A broken commitment, a loss of some sort. Someone's um, thinking about this. I don't know if there was already some sort of loss in this connection in the past. A broken commitment in the past or if one of you or both of you haven't had much luck in love tell me about the magician yeah you want to grow and grow big the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles this is stability growth expansion having it all here someone's really thinking about commitment about are they going to be able to manifest this? One of you could already be in a commitment. I have the higher font here. Why is the higher font here? What's this about for Aries? Wow, we got three aces on the board. Ace of Swords. Strength reverse Leo energy there. Someone, um, this is a clarity, truth, communication, but very, um, this is communication that begins something, that starts something, clears the air. Someone wants to talk about this higher font, about either commitment, an existing commitment, or a future commitment. But with the strength card reverse, it could be that they, they're lacking courage here. Maybe they're hesitating. Or perhaps they really want to control a situation. Maybe something's out of their control. And I think they just want to talk about possibly a third party here or talk about how to make this work. This could be your person. Tell me more about this connection for Aries. December 2020, please. Spirit. Tell me more about this connection. Ah, tell me more about this connection. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I can't, what else can you tell me? For Aries, what else can you tell me about this connection? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is about letting go of something in the past. One of you could be thinking about letting go of something in the past here. Freeing yourself of a situation that's difficult. We'll see. Um, I feel like this free yourself. This is that fool energy. It's like someone that's willing to take a risk here. <clears throat> it's like that horse in there. They kind of look like they're about to leap or do something there. Bottom of the deck, soulmate. So I find that very interesting. I feel like. Someone's willing to let go of the past in order to try something new here. So what are they thinking or feeling about you? Let's see. I'm using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is available now. It's linked down below. It's a physical deck. Let's see, Spirit. What is this person thinking or feeling about Aries? What are you thinking or feeling about Aries at this time? Are you thinking or feeling about Aries at this time? I'm having doubts. See what I was saying? That was that Seven of Pentacles earlier. 
and I'm taking action. Interesting. I'm, I'm having doubts, but I'm taking action. What's this? I love you. I feel like they're motivated by this, by the fact that they care about you. So let's see. What else can you tell me about what they're thinking or feeling for Aries? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries or this connection? What are you thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries or this connection? Six of Pentacles, rebalancing a situation, giving, receiving. Page of Swords. So I feel like they're either watching you or they want to talk. They want to talk about, what do they want to talk about? Let's see. What's this page of swords about? It's like they're thinking about you and they're thinking about what to talk to you about. About not being able to manifest something, something to do with a burden or responsibility, a weight that they're carrying here that they need to let go of. This could be something to do with home, family, either with you or with someone else. It's like they want to talk to you about this. What's the Six of Pentacles about for Aries? The Fool again. So this is about starting things over So or starting new. This person, when they think about you, they think about a new beginning, about... A chance for something more. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. And I feel like this is someone that... When they think about you, they think about freedom. That's just what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling here. Tell me more for Aries. I feel like they think about more. They think of you, they think of this connection, and they see a new beginning for themselves. Yeah. Moving forward, progression, success. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Death card. Scorpio energy, cancer energy with the chariot. This is all about ending something to, to move forward. Leaving it all behind. So let's see, what are their next actions going to be towards Aries, Spirit? What are their next actions going to be? We're going to look at their next actions here, and then we're going to take this to the extended, where we're going to talk about their true intentions towards you, the challenges or the blocks to the connection, and then what is the potential outcome here. So if you want to know more, Check out the extended, completely optional. It's linked down below this video. What are their next actions going to be towards Aries? What are their next actions going to be? Queen of Cups. The Sun. I feel like they want to... Um, Two things here either they feel a lot of love and happiness with you or it's like they want to air out their feelings or bring their feelings to light here what are their next actions going to be towards Aries eight of coins so they're going to be working hard on something on what what are they working on what are they working on spirit on a choice, on a decision. Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Wands. Definitely, they're working on how to make this new beginning happen. We'll see in the extended if there's potential there for, you know, this to go somewhere. But, you know, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing someone who, even though they have doubts, they're taking a risk. They're taking a risk on you because they love you. 
Uh, they're taking a risk on, you know, and, and it's like they want to talk about the fact that they want to move forward here. You know, this is someone that wants to move forward into a new beginning here and wants to just get this started. Um, so I feel like their next actions are going to be uh, pick a path, pick, pick a path forward to have this new beginning, this Ace of Wands. And look, the Fool behind that. So this is all about a new beginning. This is all about a new start. So that's a beautiful reading. All right, Aries, I'm going to take this to the extended to get some more information about where this is headed. What are their true intentions? Any challenges or blocks? I think something here is definitely blocked because I have the Magician reverse um, and the Ten of Wands reverse. So whatever they're manifesting from that previous spread I did, Whatever they're manifesting where they want to have growth and expansion, um, I feel like there's something tied up to that. This needs to be let go of. So I feel like that's probably a challenge or a block, but we can look closer and the extended to see what exactly that is. But, you know, this person's thinking about, I feel like they want to give you what you deserve with the Six of Pentacles and the Fool. It's almost like I need to give to this new beginning. You know, in order to have this passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands, I have to give something. I have to choose a path here. There could also be some sort of distance between you, but um, more than anything, I think this is more about making a choice like that Two of Pentacles previously. It's like there might be juggling two things and they need to choose one, you know? All right, Aries, thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, please let me know down in the comments how it resonated for you. I love to hear from you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's already liked, shared, subscribed, commented, and just continues to support the channel and watch the readings. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I cannot respond to every comment, but I do read them all. So thank you so much. And I will see you all in an... Oh, by the way, um, before I leave, don't forget that if you want to check out the Secret Moon Oracle deck, it's linked down below if you're curious. Um, you can also look at the listing page if you want to see more pictures, but yeah. Okay. So I'll leave it there, Aries. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Take care.